Hello everyone, it's Kay, and I am a full-time Japanese forex trader who is living in Dubai from this July. And this channel is all about using Ichimoku to spot trends and reversals and to improve your trades. And the goal for this channel is to help you become a non-losing trader, which is very important for the first step. So hopefully you enjoy today's video session. And so this is a video session, it's not a live stream because I have a couple meetings tonight. So after I finish recording and uploading, I have to leave house. So, uh, but I would like to talk about one of the pairs today, which is about to break the P wave. So um, let me squeeze my face and get to the topic right now. Okay, so um, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information today is basically based on my own understanding experience. So when you take trades, please do within risk management. So uh, the pair that I would like to introduce today is the pound AUD. And this video right now is recorded at 12.57 uh, p.m. in UTC time zone. So this is about one hour before I upload this video. So I would like to talk about this pair because it is breaking the previous resistance level at 1.8972 today. It is breaking and I don't say that this is already broke out because this is the daily candlestick and it hasn't closed yet. So like I mentioned previously, we have to wait until the market closes on the daily chart, otherwise we never know uh, if this is going to be breakout or not. But um, we can confirm this potential breakout on a um, few ways, so I think I will talk about that one too, by looking at the multiple time frames in lower time frames. But before doing that, um, let me share my analysis, because I was actually focusing on this uh, pair um, a couple of uh, days previously, so I put the analysis here. This was posted on the 16th of August, um, so two days back. Pound AUD, potential P wave breakout. And I was able to capture this P wave breakout simply because the Kumo was up here. The Kumo here is up and Kijun Sen was up here. So if I see this Kumo Kijun Sen up move and also Chikou span above the candles, uh, we can expect the market breaks the P wave upwards. And if I just forward the candles right now up until today, you can see that the market is bullish for the last two days. So this is actually power of Ichimoku, is that you can kind of capture which way the range can be broken by simply by looking at the Kumo and Kijun Sen. And uh, it's really effective. So um, you can back test, you can forward test, and you can uh, watch the market breaks towards the direction of Kumo and Kijun Sen, and also Chikou Span. But, um, and so today, it's broken upwards. So um, I posted another analysis today, this one right here. Um, so P wave breakout, and it is uptrending right now. So as per next scenario, I put it here, the market is heading towards the next resistance level at 1.9533. If it retraces, market could be supported by Tenkan Sen and continue to go up. So what I mean by that is the market is uptrending, so potentially it can continue to go up, but um, it might retrace. It might retrace back down to the resistance level and continue to move up, or if it's going to be resisted here, uh, it is breaking up, but if the today's daily chart close, will become below the resistance level at 1.8972. If it becomes below it by the end of today's close, then it might become double top and it might be, uh, the market could retrace back down to the Tenkan Sen. So it might retrace back to Tenkan Sen and could be supported by the Tenkan Sen and continue to go up in this direction. So. Um, but that will be only when today's daily candle closes below the resistance. But it's always nice to create scenarios in your head so that you can expect this uh, 
future markets as it goes on. But uh, this is bullish, so uh, we can expect the market continue to grow up. And as I mentioned on the analysis today, the resistance level is at 1.9533, which is the previous daily resistance here. So the daily re resistance in support was all the way back in uh, 2000 uh, May, but uh, and looks like this is an ultimate target. Of course, along the way, the market hit towards that level. It, there should be go ups and downs. So I don't expect the market straight go up that way. It's impossible. But the ultimate target will be at this level at this point. So, so now I will start to look at the lower time frames and see if this candle close uh, is either above the resistance or below the resistance. We can kind of expect it by looking at the lower time frame. So let me switch it down to the one hour chart. All right, so here is one hour chart. And uh, if you see this market, it has been bullish also. However, you can see that the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo are flat now. I'm talking about this uh, Tenkan Sen flatness. Hold on, let me get this. Uh, Pen. Oops, hold on. Okay. All right, looks like I have a bit of trouble launching the pen right now, so um, I was just explaining it by this uh, chart right now. But uh, you can see that the Kumo flat. I'm talking about this uh, single span B and A and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen. If you see these lines to be flat like this, then um, that means the market might retrace back to either Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. So you can see that the uh, Kumo Senko Span B is the lower part of the Kumo when it's bullish, and Senko Span A is the upper part of the Kumo. And you can see both lines angle is flat right now. And also, Kijun Sen is flat, Tenkan Sen angle is also flat. So, from here, it did break out. It did break the previous resistance level at 1.8972, but uh, since they are flat, it might retrace from here. It might retrace back down to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. So in this condition, I won't look for the buy chance because of this potential retracement in one hour chart. So it's good to stop and wait for the Kumo and Kijun Sen to be moving up. And most likely, they will point up after the breakout. If the market breaks, the resistance level in one hour chart, which is about to happen, and then you will see the Kumo Kijun Sen point up and we can expect the market continuously go up. However, if it, if it doesn't happen, then uh, the market can retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, which is the nature of Ichimoku, Hane lines. So this is one way to capture if this breakout is trustable or not. You can have a clue by looking at one hour chart, Kumo, Kijun Sen, and Tenkan Sen angles. But in terms of momentum, this is bullish, simply because the price is located above Tenkan Kijun Kumo, and Chikou Span above the candle. So this is bullish. But within this bullish market, there might be a retracement. So the scenario would be the market might retrace backwards and backwards down to the previous support level and goes up. That will be one of the scenarios. Oh, it looks like while talking, looks like the market broke the previous high. So this is good. So. Because the market broke the previous high now, it actually made these Senko Span BA Kijun Sen angles to up. So it was flat, but now as I talk, these are pointing upwards now, you see? So I think that was the right timing to talk about it. So if, I, if you see this Kumo Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen moving up this way, then um, that means the market broke the previous high once on this one hour chart. 
It is retracing backwards now, but this breakout was significant as per Ichimoku because that's the definition of uptrend as per Ichimoku. So from here, we can expect the market goes up continuously. But if the Kumo Kijun Sen are flat in one hour chart, we had to expect market retraces, so I wouldn't look for the buy chance. And now that they are pointing upwards now, let me go down to the five minute chart to spot the entry edge or to spot the possible entry edge in this condition. So in the lower time frames, I use the uh, Bollinger Bands and Stochastics and also price action. I mainly use price action and for the supportive purposes, I use Stochastics and um, Bollinger Bands. And in this condition, looks like this is a nice breakout. First of all, in five minute chart, there is a resistance line breakout and also retest the market retested it and going up right now in this direction. So this is a nice end wave, nice bullish end wave after the breakout of that resistance level at 1.89882 level. And also um, stochastic is gold crossing. So that's another good confirmation. And also I can see that the, uh, the market is band walking. So this is also a nice confirmation. So from here, we can take a buy. And if you buy right now, then usually what I do is I place a stop loss based on the five minute chart or the 15 minute time frame, depending on which time frame I take for the confirmations. But today, let me explain how I set the stop loss, how I identify the stop loss by five minute chart. So in this case, the most recent low in five minute chart was here. At this level, 1.8967. So if I place a stop loss there, then that will be about 27, 28 pips of stop loss, which is not too tight, not too wide. So I think this is good to take. So with this 28 pips of stop loss, I take a buy here and expect the market goes up continuously in this direction. And that will be my trade. But if the market reverses backwards, then at some point I will exit. If it goes, re if it reverses backwards from here, then I will exit at some point. But for now, this is bullish. So I think this is a good timing for entry to buy. However, after this recording, um, I will be outside. So most likely I won't be able to monitor the chart. So in this case, this is a nice entry chance, but because of my schedule, I won't take a buy here. I will come back to chart after I come back home, screen charts one more time, and if I still see a nice buying edge, then I take it. Otherwise, I will just leave the charts and come back tomorrow. And tonight, there will be FOMC, so uh, we have to be careful. Just watch out on this big event, FOMC in the US. It can impact the USD and also gold markets. But uh, so this is like multiple time frame analysis. So once again, I was initially looking at the daily chart and captured this breakout while the Kijun Sen and Kumo Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span, everything shows bullish trend at spray Ichimoku lines. And also I was going down to one hour chart and waiting for the Kumo Kijun Sen to go up. And luckily, um, while I was talking, uh, they, they actually pointed upwards after the breakout. They started to point upwards. So that's why I went down to the five minute chart and look for an entry chance. And basically this is what I do um, every time I take trades. So I'm a trend follower and I capture trends by Ichimoku and follow that trend direction. Because I value the risk rate ratio more than win rate. So usually my win rate, when I talk about the win rate, it's about like 30%, 40% in average. But when it comes to uh, risk rate ratio, uh, it's more than three. Um, sometimes it goes up to like one to five in average risk rate ratio of my trace. So, um, that's actually what I do. So in this case, I expect the market continues to go up. So 
So、uh, you can watch the video,、uh, which is going to be uploaded in about 45 minutes and see how it plays out. And also,、um, so in this case, I expect the market to go up, but、uh, if it reverses, then I also think about the exit timing. You know,、um, we never be overconfident on your analysis and trades. Always think about the opposite side. Always create two scenarios. If the market goes up, then what would you do? If the market goes backwards, then what would you do? No matter how many, how, how long、uh, it takes to analyze a chart and take trades, you have to always think about the opposite side. That is very important. So, Looks like the market is heading towards that direction. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so that's it for today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed today's analysis. So,、uh, yeah, so once again,、uh, I will be heading towards the,、uh, the coffee shop and have some meetings. So,、uh, unfortunately, I have to leave. So, I will end the session for now. But,、um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please press the like button. And I will see you on the next, next session, either live or video session. So until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.